And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Bant Arcbow. We're going to play this again in Mythic. It's been a few days since I've played this deck. This was certainly my favorite deck in Standard for a period of time there. Um, I've kind of moved towards like the Teamer Hydra, uh, Gruel Arcbow, really liking those two, but I want to get back to this deck. Um, the point of this deck of course, is to maximize Vivian's Arcbow. It's our most important card. Want to get this card out and basically activate this every turn of the game. Later on in the game, we want to have a lot of mana. So like for like six, seven mana every turn, just activate Arcbow. And we want to find Shalai and Lyra are like the two most important things because how powerful both of those... Sorry, I'll stop going back and forth between them there. But how powerful both of these angels are we even have the spark doubles that can copy either one for great success, especially copying Shalai. Shalai spark double is definitely a combo where then all of our creatures, planeswalkers, and ourselves have hexproof the rest of the game. Um, last time that we played this, we tried Resplendent Angel, and I think I still like Resplendent Angel. Still going to try some more of it. I think Resplendent Angel helps out um, almost all of our matches except for Esper. Against Esper... They answer Resplendent Angel very uh, efficiently, especially with like Oath of Kaya. But, you know, just uh, it's not so good there. But against like everything else, it can take over in the late game, like with that ability uh, to, get, you know, make it a 5 5 lifelink, you know, pair with Lyra to get us more angels in the air. Because against all the aggro and all the mid range decks, what we're trying to do is get this angel army in the air with a bunch of lifelink. Uh, make basically make it impossible to fight through impossible to race that's that's our goal that's what we're trying to do um but against esper like they're playing a whole lot of removal spells and their resplendent angel isn't as good as growth chamber guardian it was what growth chamber guardian was the card that we used to have and growth chamber guardian you can play it they use their removal spell on it you go grab a new one and so on hey what's up black geppetto thanks for that twitch prime sub so uh Esper is like the one matchup that I'm kind of worried about with this deck. And so because of that, uh, I'm trying out Null Hide Feroxes in the sideboard. It's a different card. I had Immortal Suns before, and I didn't really... Like, the Immortal Suns just didn't really work out too well. Between, like, Thought Erasure, um, or, like, just even, like, the Bell Haunts clear, keeping my hand kind of clear, is like, hard to get to six mana and actually play them. And then at that point, they had to Sparks. Um, you know, Esper is very ready for uh, Immortal Sons these days. So we're going to go with Nullhide Ferox. Because I want I want to keep, like, the Arcbow hits up. So, you know, it's another card, for especially for four mana that we can hit with Arcbow. If we have, like, all of these good four mana hits. Um, another good one. It's very good against Bell Haunt. You know, they play Bell Haunt. We put in Nullhide for free. Perfect there. Um, and, you know, it's just, just a big threat that's kind of hard for them to deal with. So... That's that's the new card that I, I cut the two Immortal Suns and one of the three Dovin's Vetoes for these Nullhide Feroxes. That's the new plan that I'm going to try. I considered trying to like find room to put Nullhide, Nullhide Feroxes main. Like, maybe like instead of playing like Resplendent Angel or something, but decided against it. Uh, we're going to have it over in the sideboard there. Um, the Frilled Mystics are awesome. In this deck, you know, you can counter things or, you know, great hit off of Arc Bow when your opponent's playing stuff. Love Frilled Mystic. Spark Double, copying a Frilled Mystic is another good one there, too. So, yeah. That's that's our deck. That's what we're going to try. Um, let's give it a go. I like, our, I like our aggro matchups here with having all these angels. It's mostly the Esper one that I don't love. Oh yeah, when you, when you already have six mana and then you top deck an Immortal Sun, it's perfect. It's the best card you can possibly draw. Like, it's awesome. But my experience was that just wasn't happening too much. And... I wasn't thrilled with it. Alright, well we'll just keep turn two Resplendent Angel and kind of see where it takes us from there. Yep, yeah, exactly. You hold hold up four mana with with Arcbow on the table. Exactly. Like, they, you know, they may not just, like, be like, oh, well, they have Frilled Mystic because they didn't play anything.
All right, we'll just put this these creatures out here, see what happens. All right, first Phoenix is, is out there. July works pretty well with deputy attention too. Like if you have a deputy in play and like an arc bow and they try to kill your deputy, you can either hit um, Shalai or Frilled Mystic to counter it. Yeah, this has been a flood. Drawn zero arc bows and zero cards that cost four or more. Which of those combined are four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. So zero of those seventeen kind of cards Blah. you know 17 land decks usually you know find a land or two yeah double shalai in this matchup is quite quite good yeah and it, it is it is very satisfying it's true yeah always got it always need to keep a you know one card in hand for the arc bow certainly consider keeping both of the lands in hand but definitely you know don't just play out your hand when you have the arc bow I don't have much of a sideboard for this matchup, to be honest. I just, you know, like, try to actually have, like, you know, cards. Or maybe draw Arcbow, the best card in the deck. Hey, there's a card. There's a card. Yeah, Hawkeye's taking up taking up the camera. like in the back scratches. Spark double would be awesome here. If if we survive and untap, drawing a spark double. Copy Lyra. Okay, well I I doubt we're surviving and untapping if they just well, I guess we would probably untap. The only two mana. They got rid of a red finale? How could getting rid of a red finale at this point? Like, what, what does our hand have to be? Red finale is so good. Yeah, they already played one strike. 
Jeez, another land. Yeah, Arcbow, fetch Spark Double, or fetch July, or fetch, you know, Frilled Mystic, you know, something like that would have been perfect. I mean, our life's definitely better whenever we have Arcbow. Yeah, I just don't really have a sideboard for this matchup. I don't like Deputy. I don't really like... Eh, Teferi Tom Raveler is okay, I guess. No hide, like, you know, it brings the beats. Let's try No hide. Get some beats in. Oh, that's a good call. Dang, I already hit the cement. But yeah, just playing the Tristani in case of Melody. Good call. Because, yeah, that's a popular card in the Phoenix decks in the 75. Yeah, Null can do some pressure. So the good part, like, basically what Little Teferi would be doing would be stopping Red Finale. That's what, uh, yeah, that's what, basically that's the only thing that a little Teferi does. Hey, what are you doing? Say I need to pet you more? Well, let's give this a try. We actually have cards. Um, it's slow, but we're on the play. But we got our, our Angels and our Arcbow. In our Archangel deck. Come on, lands. <laughs> uh, and then this, this game, we're going to just draw zero lands, obviously. That's how it's going to work. Good old magic. Last game we have like 10 lands. This game, two. And the opponent is doing good stuff. So I'm not going to play the land we're off and not going to attack. I'm basically not going to let them have... Like, their burn spells kill my things to help turn on, like, getting their phoenixes back. You know, if they want to burn spell me, okay, but not kill my... Kill anything here. Hey, Dan, yep, you made it just in time. Hmm... Same thing, I don't want them to kill the druids. Let's get some instant speed creatures in here. Because you know they're sitting on like lava coils, shock strikes, all that kind of stuff. If I just, you know, play Lyra there, they probably just kill all my things and get the Phoenixes back and kill me, and I lose. Losing's a bummer. Ugh. Where are the lands at?
All right, see, we hit Frilled Mystic. Frilled Mystic. Nope. That's lethal. Three Phoenixes. All right, well, two pretty bad draws to start the, the day off with. <laughs> yeah, we had like the 10 lands and then couldn't hit it the third land drop. Gross. All right, well, let's retry. New match. And then our arc bow whiffed. Nothing went right. Hmm. Not a very good looking hand. We got the same matchup. If they cast Scry on their turn, okay, never mind. I was gonna say if they cast Opt on their turn, with nothing from me of like knowing what I'm playing or or anything. It's mono blue. Okay. I think we got a lot of stuff against Model Blue. Not necessarily right now with all these tap lands. Okay, there we go. But resolving Resplendent Angels and Deputies, like, you know, it's got to be pretty good. Splendid Angel being a 3-3. Three, three. Testing them out. If Deputy resolved there, I would take the obsession. Yeah, our sideboard's not bad for this matchup either. Getting the four baffling ends are very good in this matchup. We get to resolve Resplendent Angel, that's good. That's good, that's good. Alright, no trickster, please. Because, like, next turn, you know, we can activate Resplendent Angel, have it be a 5 5. And be able to trade with the Tempest Gen. Hmm. 
Upon it taking their time. All right, good attack. Hey, hey, Dame. GG's. Yeah. Draws last game were pretty rough, but oh well. That happens. Alright, no trickster. Anyone else attacking? Oh, yeah, so they have enough to activate the Terramanders. I guess my only block is here. Because if, if I block if I block like this Terramander to force them to activate this Terramander to trade, they, they could just activate the other Terramander and kill me. Yeah, like, no matter which Terramander I block, they could just activate the other and kill me. Alright, GG's. All right, bring all these baffling ends. Another one of those. Another one of those. Um, I don't know if we'll. I don't know if we're gonna be able to have time wipe actually resolve. But if time wipe would resolve, that'd be a good one. Arcbow resolving is awesome, of course, because you know if we just get to sit back and activate Arcbow every turn, they just can't counter anything. I guess I don't really need Oketra. Yeah, Arcbo. Yeah, Arcbo can win this matchup. Time Raveler can win this matchup. I'm debating between my last card if I want one Frill Mystic or one Spark Double. That's my that's my debate here. I could play a Knight of Autumn to blow up Curious Obsession too, I suppose. But we already have the deputies and we have the Teferi like, no. I want either one Spark Double or one Frill Mystic. I'll go with one Frilled Mystic. Uh, 
All right, let's see what we draw this time. I think I'd play Knight of Autumn over before I play Ferox, I think. Okay, that's a good start. Another good one. Oh, this is going to be a long match. Looks like our opponent's clicking through every single turn, you know, every single phase. Hey, Phil. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that support. You are a rock star with that sub right there. Gonna get some hype votes in the chat, of course, for that. Fifteenth sub of the day. There's a new Vivian. It costs six mana. That's gotta be a Planeswalker deck card, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Planeswalker deck card. Yeah. You can see how it's number 298 out of 280. That's a that's a Planeswalker deck one. Could use another blue mana. Baffling end wouldn't be so bad either. Okay, we'll take the baffling end. Really hope not another Tempest Gen after this. Please, no more Tempest Gens. Certainly the card I didn't want to see. Wouldn't it Okay, cool. Wanted to draw a land here. Um
so I could Dawnbringer with Veto back up. And, and I am just going to go ahead and pl play this land where I'll not have the Veto up for a turn so that I can cast Dawnbringer next turn with Veto protection. The new code is for Narset. It's enlightened me. So they only got three cards in hand. It's not too many. Well, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Now, I'd love to play against Mono Blue all day with this deck. We just just lost though. Just lost. Nope, no Arcbow either game. I mean, our opponent needed like that. They needed the uh, that Tempest Gen to like that one, that turn to be able to pull ahead. You remember I was saying, hopefully no t no second Tempest Gen, and they had second Tempest Gen without second Tempest Gen there. So this could be. So yeah, I'm I'm getting the Paradise Druid in play here, so I can have Frilled Mystic next turn. Okay, but if they would have had specifically Thought Erasure right there. And take an arc bow, I would have felt bad. So here, like for four mana, you know, like what's the like the best thing they can play is Shalai. Uh that like a band deck usually has. Which would be a bummer, but you know, like that's it's usually what they got. Next turn though is like the turn with Nissa, right? So I'm I'm saving the Frilled Mystic for for next turn, so um getting the you know, not not keeping up Frilled Mystic for that turn and just having Arc Bow Paradise Druid as the play. Yeah, this is Death Cab. We got another one. Not attacking with this Paradise Druid because I'll, I'll want to activate Arc Bow for five if we don't have to frill Mystic. Okay, so time wipe is kind of for this matchup. That's the card I don't want, though. <laughs> we'll get rid of one time waster and what else guess maybe another one of those hey what's up Yori Cattell 
You know, usually I would, I would have like the growth chamber guardians which I'd be able to cut here, but I do like resplendent angel. <laughs> well, glad glad you shared it still. Yeah, I don't. I know for for some people it just has that like where it, you like resub during the month and you get the notification and then there's that thing in your chat so you have to do it again and get like two notifications a month sometimes. But I don't I don't know why it's doing that, but you know whatevs. All right, so do I want to take out one resplendent or one Teferi? Let's go with another. We'll just go. We'll cut one resplendent. We'll go with two resplendents. Oh, it never goes away? Really? Like, tomorrow it'll have it there again? That's weird. So shocking in here instead of playing Forest allows me to either do Resplendent or Deputy next turn. Which, of course, I'm planning on Resplendent. Kind of hard to deputy away a hexproof thing. Okay, now that you share it, it'll be gone. Okay, so every time you don't share it, you have to click it away all the time. Gotcha. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I saw that. Um... Bleh. Oh, I sh should have played this plains instead of the forest. <clears throat> but yeah, I saw the the Abzan three color legend. It looks really sweet. I'm liking it quite a bit. All right, I remember the last time we played against Bant Ramp. I remember afterwards saying, note to self, bring in Knight of Autumns in this matchup. I remember that now. A little late that I remember that. Note to self. But I'm now remembering that note to self. So good thing we, we won game one, so we can bring in Knight of Autumns now. All right, Storm, have a good night. So yeah, I was le leaving myself dead to them just... I protect the virtue of this world. Um... Harness the elements. Well, he didn't do that correctly. Certainly could have killed me with with the Nissa there. Activating Shalai. The land fights for us. Yeah, Lyra doesn't save us here. They're attacking for way too much. Could have activated that Shalai last turn to kill me. 
Um, well, now Lyra saves me. Lyra. Flame. Well, they could have they could have activated Shalai like they didn't need to play Nissa. They could have just activated Shalai on the battlefield there and just attacked with their Paradise Druid to kill me. But I think if, if they would have just tapped differently, I think they could have played Nissa and activated Shalai. I believe. Um, so Knight of Autumns are coming in. So what does that mean that I'm taking out? Cut time wipe on the play. Arc bow, arc bow, arc bow. Blip. All right, we're gonna draw a frilled mystic here. Or no, shall I? Yeah, we're gonna draw shall I? Shall I? Oh, I thought that was shall I. So I could have double Oketra Trust me. and try to do that whole thing. This might be a bad idea. Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. Okay. I've got time. Teferi's out of there. Um. So they can chump block Oketra. It's harder to chump block Lyra. Basically, I'd hope no crisis right now. Oh, come on. 
Let's slow this down. That's more like it. Ugh. Behold, nature's true power. Deputy attention would be kind of nice. Take take out the Nissa. I'm going pretty aggro here. Rise, my elemental friend. their plan I think their plan is to try to go wide here really aggressive so I, I want this Lyra's defense binding of course is, is the worst possible scenario Done I mean, Krasis also. Krasis and Binding. And that. Well, good hand. Got, got really punished for taking out my time wipe. Just getting punished for every decision I make. Every game here. Just nothing, nothing's going right. Nothing's going right here. So let's let's try to turn it around. Could be Nicol Bolas' fault. Uh, and now now my worst matchup, Esper. Could be Nicol Bolas' fault. Nicol Bolas does not go with Angels. And this deck. Maybe like I probably should change my avatar. So we'll get to see how good the Near, uh, full, uh, the Nullhide Feroxes are. Sorry, I'm frustrated. We get to see how good the Nullhide Feroxes are here for this matchup. What is that? Here we go. What is going on? No, I am not making this up as I go. Not very good auto tapping. They're tapping my one white source.
practiced against many foes like you. I really should have seen that coming. My, my white source would have let me tap cash a lie. Last turn. Commotion. But that was, I mean, that's my fault. I should be paying a little better attention to the auto tap there. If I just play my shock land in first, they, you know, they would certainly tap the other lands, the harbor and the breeding pool. The problem with Arcbow, because you can technically activate Arcbow for zero, you have to like click OK to everything. Which makes it a little annoying to use. Drawing Shalai is not ideal either. Yay. Probably should have activated in response to that thing. Ways to you. Yeah, should should have activated in response to that thing. Massacre Girl has menace. I can't block Massacre Girl. Yeah, I could have had a Frilled Mystic to counter the Narset. But I like where we're at. So they got one card in hand. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's so nice when we actually have Arcbo. So nice to actually have Arcbo. And that's lethal. No, we don't have three white. Never mind, not lethal. We only have two white. To activate Resplendent Angel.
All right, so this is a little bit different of an Esper deck, so it's certainly a Command the Dreadhorde deck. Certainly Command the Dreadhorde. I do not want Deputy Attention whatsoever, and I do want Veto, so like that's going to be the first thing that happens. I want Tristani in case they take my things. The question is, do I want Ferox? And yeah, probably probably want Ferox too, right? Like We probably just want to hit hard... Hmm. And Ferox is going to hit a lot harder than Resplendent Angel is against a deck that, you know, actively wants to have a whole lot of life. Ferox is probably pretty good. Had a lot of five land, one mana creature hands. That's been a common theme in these games. But I like Frilled Mystic a lot. Yay. Yay, we drew our bow. Hooray. Stand by and watch. So if they bounce the bow, then they can't attack with the Pride Mate unless they want the land we're off to kill the Teferi. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so the time waster just is the is the time walk basically. Nothing. That's fine. I'll trade land war elf for. Yeah, I guess I mean just mortifying the land war elf. Shalite. Ugh. No Shalite. We needed Shalite one other card down. We just drew the Shalite that turn. Good part about Arcbow here, you know, like the Hot Razor, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. It doesn't really matter what our cards are in hand. We're just activating Arcbow every turn. Only time will tell. All right, with the fairy out of there, now we get to Frilled Mystic also. I'm liking our chances here this game.
Are they going to try to race? Yep. Um... Hmm. All right, since we're we're ahead, we'll go ahead and do this. Take this turn off here. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. Look, it's all a turn. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that that new sorcery that tucks creatures with power four or greater. That's true. Yeah, Oketra is only a three six. So it hits for six, but doesn't actually have a power of four or greater. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. Embrace the bloodlust. Attack. Yeah, and we are looking good. And that's game. Now we're turning it around. We had Arcbo. Deck was a lot better. <laughs> and, you know, like all these other games have had like some troubles of like having a bunch of lands or having a bunch of spells, you know, that kind of stuff. They're like Esper Dreadhorde over there. Hmm. Good looking hand. <laughs> yeah, Zoeks. Thanks for staying up for that. And uh, we'll see you later. All right, I'm assuming we'll find some other spell to play after Oketra. Well, we're not playing Oketra next turn anyway now. I'll wait for the land of world till after Oketra. Since, like, you know, next turn, the land of world doesn't help us cast Oketra. We get to cast Oketra either way. next turn whether it was in play or not sweet thanks J Jack all right gruel this is usually a grueling match all right that's all I got um again I don't like deputy against you know like the Burn decks, basically. Decks with, like, burn spells. And I do like Baffling End, though. Can we just play for Baffling End and trim some Teferis? Could be kind of bad against Phoenix and everything, taking out all these Teferis, but, you know, they're playing Legion War Boss, all that kind of stuff. Like, cards that are good against Teferi, that's for sure. We got, like, the angels to block and everything. 
Do we get get a null hide in here or a Tristani in here? Probably a null hide. Null hide go to block in. Slow hand, but very powerful. You know, like we're gonna have like Shalai on four, but then. But then probably Lyra on five with Arc Bow. Love that our opponent's having the slow hand too. Love it. Don't love War Boss. That's not a slow card. Oh, we got the combo. Okay. So hopefully that was their only coil in hand. Yeah, Resplendent Angel is not a card that I want early like that, really. It's it's a card to like to have like in the late game. Don't kill Shalai, don't kill Shalai, don't kill Shalai. No removal. No removal, no removal, no removal. No coil, no coil. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Minus. No. <laughs> You're gonna no coil. This is through. Nope, no coil. Pass. Just go to combat. Go to combat. Come on. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Um, okay. So if I take this... I guess I can't really just take this, can I? Let's go down to four. Ugh. Why'd they have to have a spell? It's basically Lyra or Bust anyway. The hexproof, uh, like hexproofing here, like, oh, yes, yeah, so like we have hexproof, so we don't have to worry about a burn spell. But like, yeah, just doing the other spark double. Of course, we take lethal. So it's it really is just Lyra or bust. So we had we had. Six looks at Lyra, you know, our draw step or the, the next top five. Just no respect for Settle the Wreckage. Hmm. No Lyra. All right, Tristani instead of Nullhide. Let's change that. <clears throat> no 
respect for Settle over there. None. You're playing Teamer at the moment and reached Mythic trouble facing Bant decks. All right, better hand, you know, we get the mana creature here that we didn't have last time. Certainly better. Um, I think against Esper decks, you just want to take out your Lava Coils and take it. Dang. Uh, yeah, they can kill Paradise Druid, but oh well. They can kill Land Warolf anyway. Um, Pyro since Hydra is not so good against the Esper decks because they, they usually answer it pretty efficiently um, I don't necessarily love 3 mana Domri either because the uncounterable doesn't really matter and fighting, fighting isn't very important either I mean, I should probably just baffling end that, but then that takes my whole turn. Yeah. This is the best play, though, of, like, having the game go longer, which is what I want. Of course, against the more aggressive deck. All right, no removal, please. No removal. Play something that costs three or less. That'd be good. Something I can baffling in. Play another Rekindling Phoenix. That's fine. Yeah, just play another Rekindling Phoenix. Attack. Or don't attack. Sit back. Bleh. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Uh, that was a horrible turn for me. Horrible turn. Now I, I can't play this other Shalai because they just fight and kill it. Creature spells can't be countered. That's not ideal. Hmm. No, not another collision. Ambush. 
Come on. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of ties. I don't know exact number. Gosh, this could just not go any worse for me. Like, every decision I make just ends up backfiring. Should've just frilled Mystic and countered that. This is frustrating. I don't... I don't have anything to do now. We still just have three lands with our 26 land deck again. Ugh, these games. Explains a lot, actually. Really wish I would have just ditched this frilled mystic instead of that baffling end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're getting to the spirit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Gruel Arcbow um, also had for a deck built around Ilhark. Also, from yesterday, the Jund Revival deck was built around Ilhark. Also, that deck was a lot of fun. So, that, yeah, I have two, two good Ilhark decks. Check out there on the, the YouTube channel there. Ditching that, ditching the baffling end, instead of the frilled mystic coming back to hunting me, coming back to haunt me. Could have baffling ended that token here and played Lanor off. I mean, we need to just draw another land here so we can have, so we can you know maybe have five mana and you know so we can have five mana and maybe hit Lyra. I mean, we need to draw another land. Wait, that might be me. Thanks, game. Thanks. When you have Arcbow like that, 
it's the reason why I'm playing 26 lands in this deck. Because when you have Arcbo, all you want are lands. You know, we went that whole game. You know, you saw our opponent had like, you know, seven, eight lands out or whatever. We had three. Just couldn't play our cards. <laughs> oh, love you too, real Rankler. So yeah, a uh, rough day here for Bant Arcbo. Honestly, just yeah, just kind of a rough day for the deck. I don't think that there's any like specific problem with the deck. It was just a lot of mana troubles, and, and then um, me, the decisions I was making in different times just always backfired. <laughs> That's just kind of one of those things, you know, like. So not only like were we either flooding out or not having any mana in spots, but then whenever I'd have like a, a crucial decision, like with that baffling end took the baffling end there in that that last game, uh, discarding that instead of frilled mystic, or you know, so it was like whatever choices I made, you know, like there was there was definite reasons at the time for making the the decisions, you know, like. At the time, you know, having the Frilled Mystic available for, you know, if my opponent didn't have multiple removal spells, like, would be really nice, but then they did. And then I untapped, and then I had, like, this Frilled Mystic that then then I was suddenly, like, really far behind, and then this Frilled Mystic didn't do anything. And and even though the, the Baffling I didn't do anything at the time, it was something that, you know, in five or six turns I needed. It was just that kind of thing. It was just like decisions I was making, you know, like, you know, they're, they're kind of judgment calls, like depending on what our opponent could have or like depending on how the, the game could go. It's just that every decision here just ended up being the wrong one. And our mana trouble, mana's, mana was bad. Every decision was bad. And it was just like one of those things, you know, like five matches is not a very big sample. We had some good, good, interesting games and everything. I'm. I don't believe I sideboarded super well in in all the games. You know, like there was different times, like where the cards that I took out of the deck would have been like the best top decks I could have, kind of thing. In some of those games, also. I don't know. That's magic. Um. Yeah. So it went one and four with the deck, but. All, that's about all I have to say. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned things uh, like I did there. Um, you know, with some of the decisions I was making and it not ending up going too well and everything, but still usually a fun deck to play. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching, Ban Arcbo, and I will see you for another video.